going on everyone? Welcome back to channel Anderson. Today we're back here with the fam and my wife and son in the back. We're heading over to my parents' garage so I can throw on a stud conversion and some spacers for the MO55 and just give it a little more aggressive stance and make it easier for future wheel options if I do decide to throw on a different wheel. So yeah, follow along. Gonna fill this baby up real quick. Every once in a while, my fuel tank I always throw this stuff in too. I've always been a fan of MMO. For the fuel, older cars works good in the crankcase, but uh, in this case, I just use it in the fuel. All right, we're filled back up. And every time that I get gas now, I always reset my trip odometer. I usually can get it to about 350 miles depending and then the other thing I do as well which I start it up is reset the ultra gauge just hold the button in the back resets to a full tank 23 gallons and now we'll do all of these calculations to keep track of everything as we go so yep let's continue on all right, the garage is a little full today. Got a bed frame over there, so I'm gonna end up doing this right here outside, no big deal. It's pretty easy. Um, basically, just gonna jack up the front of the car. I'll do two wheels at a time. So I'll do the front, front of the car first and then back. <clears throat> you guys can see I have the, uh, the titanium lug bolts on there. So those are gonna be for sale after this. Um, they're pretty much brand new and I'll probably sell them for I don't know, 40 or $50 less than what I bought them for. So if you guys are interested, uh, they'll probably be a eBay link or even before I put them on eBay, if you guys want them, just let me know, hit me up on IG or, or a comment down below. So yeah, I will uh, get the car jacked up, break these loose before obviously, and start pulling everything off. And then I'll go over what we need to do. All right, before any of that, let me explain what we got here. So first off, shout out to uh, Venom wheel accessories uh, I'm using their studs this time around you guys know I'm a big fan of motorsports hardware but these are about half the cost and low-key don't tell anybody but I think that a lot of these manufacturers are probably getting their studs from the same places and just kind of using same stuff and rebranding so it has the um, the kind of locking pattern that I like I don't like the flat rectangular one this one seems to sit a lot better in the Mercedes hub. So it's got that, which is good. It's kind of concave out here, save a little bit of weight on the back end. And the size for the Allen head is the same exact as Motorsports Hardware as well. Has kind of the bullet nose style. It's a five millimeter hex head or Allen head. And preferably you want this on a socket because you need to torque them down to 25 foot pounds um, per stud. And I'm going to be using some semi-permanent uh, thread locker on there as well. You don't want to go like permanent, permanent, because if you ever have to take them off, it'd be a pain in the ass. But um, yeah, you want to get something strong enough at least. Okay, next up, we do have Mortisworth Hardware uh, lug nuts. These are off of FCP Euro, so a lifetime warranty. And they were cheaper than anything else online, actually. Um, even like, you know, cheap eBay knockoff stuff were a little more expensive than this. These were $26.00. For 20 of them and they're coated they're super nice quality so shouldn't have any problems with corrosion or getting nasty over time try to get one of these out of here you guys can take a look at it so yeah it's plated and you want to make sure sorry i didn't even say what size these were these are m14 by one and a half um, any of the bigger model Mercedes are probably going to be 14 millimeter size. So M14, um, and any of the smaller Mercedes are going to be M12, but yeah, these lug nuts are for, um, uh, 14 by one and a half and you want an R14 ball seat if you're going to be using stock wheels. So see how it's like a ball seat there and you either have R12 or R14 based on if it's a M12 or M14. So these are R14s, and I think these were specified for like Audi or Porsche, but yeah, they'll work for our car. And just double check, make sure, depending on your wheel, especially if you're gonna fit 
whatever lug nut you're using these are no bigger than the stock ones so they'll fit per perfectly fine in the uh m155 wheels okay next up we have a new tensioner from fc Piero. you guys know i didn't like that cheap one that i got off amazon so went with a good one phoebe trusted brand the same one i have on my car on the c55 and then also got some wheel spacers these are from the same uh company i got the front ones off of uh ebay on my car so trust company i've had good good uh quality from them and they're like one fourth the cost of everything else out there so i think i paid like uh 40 bucks for um two sets so i got one for each corner for about 40 dollars this was about $75 on FCP Euro, but lifetime warranty, tensioner. The studs were about $55. And like I said, the nuts were about uh, $26 after tax or something like that. So all in all, doing a nice little wheel upgrade um, for not too much money. All right, car's jacked up, one wheel off. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the threads a little bit, just with some uh, Blake, uh, brake clean and a little wire brush and then I will start getting everything ready all right so those have been cleaned up now what you got to do is put your thread locker on before you kind of put these in and it only takes you know a dropper so you don't you don't need to go overkill and that's probably <laughs> more than I needed actually but that's fine go ahead Kind of let it do its thing swirl it around a little bit as it presses in the hole it's gonna get all those threads so don't have to worry about it too much let's go ahead and see how these do all right there you go so you get them hand tight and then basically just gonna go all around and once you're done then either have somebody hold the brakes or a little trick uh, put a nice thick screwdriver um, onto the brakes over here so that the brake can't move while you're trying to turn it and like I said you're gonna torque each one down to 25 foot pounds so not very much but still want to do that for sure each one needs to go to 25 foot pounds all right so all of them are torqued down and now I'm gonna go ahead and throw the spacer on, throw the wheel back on, simple as that. So here's a little screwdriver trick I was telling you guys about. If you have somebody around, you can have them just push the brakes, but otherwise working on your own, just stick a screwdriver in there, you'll be good to go. All right, throw the spacers on, wheels. All right, one other thing too, uh, especially if you're living in a place with corrosion or where corrosion is a problem. Up here, it's not really an issue, but um, something that'll help you out. Just throw some anti-seize on the back of your spacer uh, you can brush it onto the hub too. I'm just gonna put a liberal amount on the back of the spacer. That way it'll keep this from ever, uh, you know, binding with the hub over here. So yeah, little hack. All right, I forgot to do like a proper before and after, but this is up off the ground still. That's the side that's complete. And here is the side that is yet to be done. All right, guys, not bad, man. It looks really good, actually. Perfect, perfect fit, man. Looks way more aggressive. Looks good, 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 good. <clears throat> All right, that's the front. Now we gotta do the rears, get these to match. Uh, one of the things, if you guys don't know, uh, turkey your wheels down. The MLs, I think most of them are like 105 to 110 foot pounds. I usually do 110 foot pounds. Um, so I'm gonna do that now and then I'll go start on the back. All right, here's a before on the back half. <coughs> and we'll see how it turns out. All right guys, working on the back now. The back is definitely a lot more corroded than the front. The front rotors are fairly new. You guys remember when I first got the car, I threw those on. Uh, I'm probably gonna be looking for a cheap set of these because uh, this is nasty back here. <laughs> so, but yeah, these are almost done. I'm gonna go ahead and torque them down and throw everything on.
helicopter while it's still up in the air. And let's go ahead and drop it down, see how it looks. All right, there it is in the back. Pretty much flush as well. <coughs> yeah, it looks good. Solid. All right, guys, we better go ahead and do it right there. You can see. <coughs> Kind of a glare on this side, but that's how the fitment looks. Looks really good. It's, it's subtle, but uh, OEM plus vibes like I'm trying to do with this car. So there's how they look inside of there. Not protruding out or anything. That's how it looks nice and clean, subtle. Cool. All right, guys. Well, that'll do it for the video right there. If you guys have any questions or comments, comment down in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like. We're on our way home right now. Got a tired son to put for a nap. So yeah, see you guys on the next one. Peace.